From the outside, you wouldn't be able to tell this is where kids are getting pot. What's up, little buddy? High five. Yeah. <laughs> On the inside, you'd have to search for the signs this is a medical marijuana dispensary. How you doing? You're little Reby. Kids like eight-year-old Zoe Redinor, who suffers from ADHD, ADD Extreme, say the drug is improving their lives. I went up four grade levels in school. Her mother, Sherry Poe, says Zoe's life was drastically different on prescription drugs. She started getting tics, crying all the time. Um, at one point, she told me that she didn't want to live anymore. But just a few drops of the cannabis-infused oil a day, and a year and a half later, there's been a vast improvement. She sleeps, she's gained weight, she's happy, she smiles, she laughs. It's a similar outcome shared by many families who have come here today. The seizures have reduced by 90%. What it does is called neuropsychophysiology. It makes the neurons flow back and forth and communicate. There's no other medication in the world that does that. It's beautiful. Come on in. Jason David is the president of Jaden's Journey, a dispensary named after his son and one which caters to kids. If it doesn't work, throw it away. But have you try and it changes the rest of your life like it changed my son's life. One of his youngest epilepsy patients, Zaya Mao, just turned six months old. Her father, Joseph Mao, believes this is a better alternative to prescription drugs. We notice, it's, like I said, she feels present. Her eyes is not as wobbly as it used to be. And Mao says his daughter's doctor is not advising against it. But she's not totally against it. You know, she's always open. You know, doctors are always open to help anybody they can. A quarter million people die a year from pharmaceuticals, the same ones we give our children, and no one says a word. When a child is sick, the whole family is sick. And someone has to make a change.